Hey guys, this is Nick, the owner of 7 Watts, doing a quick live video on how to use the Series 2 controller because we've had a couple people who are a little bit unfamiliar with it. They got their controller and they thought it like wasn't modding or it wasn't working. So I'm going to give a quick well, once over here on how our modded Series 2 controller works. So here, hold the camera. So um, we received a controller from a customer and he said he thought it wasn't a genuine 7 watts controller he thought maybe it just came from Microsoft and it was not modded um, it came like this in profile slot number two now for our mod to be on and functioning it's got to be in profile slot number three it's kind of a safety feature and that way you can use the controller without the mods in the no profile slot the default and profile slot one profile slot two no mods. Go to profile slot three, reset your mod, hold right trigger, double tap sync just for safety, and then tap the sync button or the bind button. And now that dude will start blinking and that shows that rapid fire is on. So now you can see we got rapid fire on. I'm going to turn off rapid fire. I'm going to reset the mod. And just so you can see, this is an M14 rifle. And it does, it, it's a, it's a semi-auto. We're going to turn on rapid fire. And then you see, see it go. What other weapon do I have in here? Perfect. So this is the Atlas 45. This is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. We use it for testing because it has a firing range, makes it easy to test. So we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna turn on auto aim. We're gonna hold left trigger, tap sync. Now every time we pull the trigger, it aims down the sights. So I'm gonna turn off auto aim, and you can cycle through. We've got four speeds of rapid fire. We're in rapid fire. Mode 1, that's mode 2, you see it's blinking faster. Mode 3, which is the fastest mode for this particular pistol, see that's pretty fast. Then we'll go to mode 4. We also have drop shot, so I'm going to hold B and tap your sync button. So now whenever time I pull the trigger, it's going to drop down into prone. So that's, um, that's the controller. Uh, in order to use the mods, it's got to be in profile slot 3 going to go to that and then your mod function is going to turn off and it's going to act like a regular controller. So that should help out. Another thing that sometimes pops up is the thumbsticks aren't feeling quite right, right, working quite right. If that's the case, you can tighten it down. Sometimes they come loose. Uh, with this new Series 2 thumbstick design, the thumbstick unit is screwed in, so just tighten it back down. Another quick something, just so you guys know what our packaging looks like. Don't look at my desk because it's super messy. Working hard over here. Uh, this is the this is the actual controller that showed up that the guy said he thought it was not a 7 watts controller. So what we are doing is we will have a holographic sticker. Sorry, excuse me. We have a holographic sticker. We have a transparency code, which if you want to verify that, you can get the transparency app, and that verifies that it's a genuine 7 watts product. And then we have our batch code and part number code. Right now we're writing it in Sharpie because that's the easiest way to do it. But that, that's what a 7 watts controller will look like coming from us. Um, it's going to have your original codes in there and all those goodies. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have we got a holographic sticker, tamper-proof sticker on there, so you'll know that that is actually coming from us. So hopefully you guys found this information helpful. Uh, if you get your controller and you love it, leave us an Amazon review. That'd be awesome. Tell your friends about our mod controllers, and uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I figure out how to turn this dude off. Come on now. Oh, hit the X. Thanks. Yes, I'm sure I want.